families of curves are about the potential differential equations relative to a given situation requiring functions of lines or curves. Check out curve examples here in Engineering Math 5. Let's start off with circles. Determine the differential equation for circles with center at the origin. The standard formula for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And in this situation, it states that h and k would be zero as the center is at the origin. So by modifying the equation, we get x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. From here, it is noted that there is a constant, which means that we can derive once. And by deriving, we get 2x times 1 plus 2yy prime is equal to 0. Divide the function by 2 to simplify it as x plus yy prime is equal to 0. If you choose to make it in the dy all over dx form, the function is taken as x dx plus y dy is equal to 0. The second example, determine the differential equation for circles with centers on the x-axis. In this example, there will be many centers of the circles which would be drawn along x-axis. So the formula to start with is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, whereby h will still be h, but y is then taken as zero. So the circle formula will be modified to x minus h squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And again, check the number of constants in the equation. So we have h and r, which would allow us to derive the equation twice. The first derivation will show 2 times x minus h times 1 plus 2y y prime is equal to 0. And by dividing the whole function by 2, we can simplify it to x minus h plus y y prime is equal to zero. Take note that at this point, the equation will be incorporating product rule. Let's continue by deriving it the second time, and it will lead us to one minus zero plus y times y double prime plus y prime times y prime is equal to zero. So by simplifying, we get y times y double prime plus y prime squared plus one is equal to zero. Example number three, determine the differential equation for circles with radius r and tangent to the y-axis. The radius r is a parameter, and since the circles are tangent to the y-axis, it would mean that the centers are at an r distance from the y-axis. So with the standard circle formula of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, we would equate h into the radius r, and the equation will turn to x minus r squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Since r is a parameter, there is only one constant in the equation, so we are allowed to derive only once. The derivation will yield 2 times x minus r times 1 plus 2 times y minus k times y prime is equal to 0. And we can divide the equation by 2 to simplify it as x minus r plus y minus k y prime is equal to 0. There is still the constant k in the equation. So if we arrange terms, we could have y minus k is equal to negative of x minus r all over y prime. And this is our equation 2. So by substituting equation 2 into equation 1, we get x minus r squared plus the quantity of negative of x minus r all over y prime, that would be squared, is equal to r squared. If we distribute the square in order for it to be distributed further to the other terms, we would end up with x minus r squared times y prime squared 
plus x minus r squared is equal to r squared times y prime squared. Then arrange the terms to have it equated to zero. At this point, collect all terms with y prime squared and then expand the coefficient, which would then make the whole equation as x squared minus 2rx plus r squared minus r squared times y prime squared plus x minus r squared is equal to zero, where we can cancel out r squared to have the simplified equation of x squared minus 2rx multiplied by y prime squared plus x minus r squared is equal to zero. Then isolate y prime squared by moving the other term to the right, and then divide it with y prime squared's coefficient. If we extract the negative sign from the denominator, it can transform to negative of 2rx minus x squared, which would help us cancel the negative sign in the numerator. Thus, the final differential equation appears as y prime squared is equal to x minus r squared all over 2rx minus x squared. Example number four. Determine the differential equation for the family of parabolas having their vertices at the origin and foci on the y-axis. For a parabola which has its vertex at the origin and the foci is on the y-axis, we illustrate this as a vertical parabola, so the short formula to start with is y is equal to a x squared. Note a as a constant so we can derive the equation once, which can then be y prime is equal to 2ax. With the presence of a in the derived formula, we again use substitution, having it as equation 2 and the original function as equation 1. So equating 2 into 1, we get y is equal to y prime all over 2x times x squared, and cancel some x to have 2y is equal to xy prime, which can then be arranged as xy prime minus 2y is equal to 0. Example number 5. Determine the differential equation for parabolas with axis parallel to the y-axis and with distance from vertex to focus fixed as a. With the axis of symmetry of the parabola parallel to the y-axis, we can see that we are to draw a vertical parabola with the standard form 4p times y minus k is equal to x minus h squared. The other condition is the distance from vertex to focus, p is fixed as a, which denotes that a is a parameter. So from the resulting equation, we can see that there are k and h as constants where we can derive twice. The first derivation can give 4a times derivative of y as y prime and k as 0. This is equal to the derivative of x minus h squared, which is then taken as 2 times x minus h, and the individual derivatives of each term, which is 1 for x and 0 for h. We can simplify this equation as 4ay prime is equal to 2 times x minus h. Then derive it again and simplify the numerical coefficients to have the final differential equation of 2ay double prime is equal to 1. And for our last example, determine the differential equation for parabolas with vertex and focus on the x-axis. With the vertex and focus lying on the x-axis, we can draw a horizontal parabola. So the formula for this example is 4p times x minus h is equal to y minus k squared. With the vertex at x axis, k is taken as 0. So the modified equation will then be 4p times x minus h is equal to y squared. We can note that p and h are the constants, letting us derive the equation twice. So by deriving, we get 4p times 1 is equal to 2y y prime. And we can simplify the numerical coefficients to have 2p is equal to y, y prime. Note that the term implores the use of product rule. So let's derive again. To get 0 is equal to y, y double prime plus y prime times y prime, which can then be termed as y, y double prime plus y prime squared is equal to 0. 
Thank you.